Hey guys, this is Carnal Bird 5. Today I'm bringing you guys another freelance offense, and we're going to be talking about the uh, Princeton Shin. First, again, to select the Princeton Shin, left on the D pad R1. Get up, and then we'll go to page 3. There's Princeton Shin in low. Make sure you choose Chin. Chin basically means you have a guy at the high post. Uh, Princeton low is you have somebody at the low. Low post. We'll get to that video later, but today we're talking about Princeton Shin. Um, you can keep it on motion or freelance. I don't think it makes much of a difference, really. This seems to be pretty much a set play with just a few options. I don't really think your uh, players will read the defense and react, what I've seen anyway. Uh, so this is your base offense. It's a four-out offense. Well, it's got one guy at the high post at all times. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of space in the uh, front court for for cutting and driving and whatnot. Wow. Um, this offense is basically going to be a lot of threes and back doors and if you use the Mavericks which I in my opinion is probably the best fit for this offense you'll have a lot of high post up attempts with him which he is money at But to start, you just hold the ball here. It'll give you two options. You choose to move the ball. All around the perimeter, this will be the option you always get. Darren Williams to go back door. You hold it a little bit more. And then you'll have this option. Parsons will cut through, Dirk will set a back screen. Matthews will try to go back door and they have Villanova come off. The screen as well, and then this will set up a pick and, pick and pop attempt. And then that's uh, pretty much it. We'll show the other option. Try to go through all these options here. So if you hold it, sometimes you have to reverse it to pass. This is another option. So we can get you have Darren Williams going back door, Bill Nova going off the screen, pass to Dirk. You have another. Back door Parsons, Darren Williams will pop back up, and Matthews will down screen for Villanova. So there's two looks. Alright, let's show you the other one. Well, I'll show you the other one based off this. Same thing. Dirk's doing a lot of back screening. Kind of wait here, and then I'll. Alright, now this is one of the other options. Williams goes back door there. Matthews screens away for Villanova, he'll come across the top, shot there, and then there'll be another down screen on the other side. A lot of movement. So now let me try to go into the uh, other alternative place here. Alright, so if you pass... ...to Dirk initially, this is what you're going to get. They don't really start a back door, but what they're going to do is uh, they'll screen each other, kind of like a floppy. Uh, Bill and Abby coming down there, and then once the other guy screens, Parsons will come off the other screen. So you have a lot of action going on there, and then uh, that's pretty much it for that. But I mean, if you have a player like Dirk that can, you know, use the high post, and he has one on one, you can just take the shot. He'll make that a lot of time. If you get that down, he will make that. Um, I don't. There might be some other good guys like I think uh, Anthony Davis would be good. Um, Maybe Marcus saw or, or Randolph. The problem with that is the Grizzlies are more of a. Uh, they like to play two big men. I think this offense would work best with Dallas. That's how Dirk is so good in the high post. So, I'll show you guys one more time. Fast to Dirk, you're always going to get these options. Everyone 
You'll have the initial back doors, but this is mainly to set up like a little floppy. Now, if Williams come off that screen, and then the other guy that screens will go the other way. Then that's um, pretty much it. You can try to reset it here. It should always start with these two options. If you want more backdoor action, you know, reverse the ball. Right there, Williams is open. We'll have a back screen for uh, Villanova for some reason to go off. Or, you know, then this will bring up the corner option. And pass to him. Parsons cut through. Villanova go off a down screen or back screen. And Dirk will screen away to the opposite wing. A lot of movement here, guys. And then after that, they will do a pick and roll. So this isn't a bad play. Uh, I'll show you guys some online gameplay footage um, here in one second. So I will see you guys then. All right, guys. So we're back. Uh, we're about to start an online game. Well, let me show you guys uh, my matchups, POEs, settings, and my lineup. I put run through Dirk. I don't think it matters as much because uh, the uh, the Princeton shin, like I showed you guys in practice, it's pretty much set in stone. You do have some branches, but players aren't going to be doing things on their own. There's really not any uh, alternative ways to run it. That being said, there's still a lot of options within the offense. Now check out my lineup. This is crucial. If you're going to use the Mavericks, you have to play Dirk at the 5, you can't play him at the 4. So that means you got to put either Villanova or Parsons at the 4 and play uh, the smaller lineup. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, initiating my uh, freelance offense. Um, it's always a struggle the first play of the game. So we're getting into it late here. I want to get let's go ahead and get a high post up at Dirk. I mean, this is what I'm going to be looking to do most of the game. I mean, that's the whole point of this offense, is because Dirk can hit that high post fadeaway, and this is why I think it'll work best with the Mavericks. We gotta get him, gotta get them to start doubling Dirk, and then that's when the Princeton will go into, uh, go into effect and be really deadly. So right there, I had a good uh, back door. I didn't go in, but I went and had swung the ball around, and Dirk's man's not even on him. And he hits that shot. You guys see this whole offense, you really need a good playmaking center or someone that can post up there and score. So that's really the whole point of this offense. Keep that in mind. Again, he doesn't want to double down, so we'll take that. Like I said, I mean, Dirk is money in the game. This is why I think this offense can't really be ran with every team because you need a special type of player to run this. Uh, the Kings used to run this with Chris Weber because he was such a good playmaker at the five. Um, so you need a playmaker or someone that can do that high post. And it, it doesn't have to be uh, back to the basket. It can be someone that can face up maybe like Duncan or, you know, Anthony Davis. Because that's a tough shot. There's a little backdoor action. Uh, the guy missed a layup, though. Uh, keep in mind when you run Princeton, you're not going to get 20 backdoors a game. You might get, you know, 3 to 5. But the whole point of it is to, to have, um, you know, nonstop action non-stop you know cutters trying to go back to her and that's going to leave space for your shooters and if they want to guard your shooters that's when the back door will open or your guy in the middle will open right here i got a uh, nice looking shot off the floppy of course it didn't go in i mean he was right o wide open on the baseline and missed it um something else i noticed running this offense i really frustrated my opponent i was slowing down the game i mean every now and then i would take my fast breaks just to keep him honest but i would slow down the game big time and uh, he did not really adjust. And like right there, he doubled down on Dirk. He missed the wide open three, but that's what you want to do. That's what you're going to have to make your opponents choose on defense. You know, they want to give up wide open threes or they want Dirk post up all day. So, so right, I mean, like I said, you just have constant action. Um, if if uh, your opponent, you know, gets careless and is constantly trying to tap X to play off ball and he, you know, he accidentally... Uh, clicks the wrong guy and gets him, you know, gets him running behind a little bit. You know, back doors could open up a little bit here and there. You just always got to be looking for it. Always make him respect it. And there we swing the ball around and get a wide open three. That's buckets right there. Um, this offense does create good movement. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think a lot of people have this misconception that Princeton can only be used when you're getting constant back doors. That's not necessarily true. There's a lot of good action. You do have pick and rolls. You do have off ball screens. Um... I, you know, I got a lot of good mid-range shots at Dirk. So, yeah, everyone for some reason has that misconception. Yeah, there are back doors there, but you're not going to be able to do it the entire game because this is, you know, NBA defenders. So, it's going to be hard to get wide open back doors. 
And it's, especially in this game, it's hard to get those crisp passes to back doors when they're open. I think I only got a few this game, but you'll see some coming up. Get a wide open shot here, or not a wide open shot. Time's running down. He left Dirk wide open, and we'll take that. See how he cheated down just for a split second and left Dirk open. <coughs> here we go. Here's another floppy action. I do a pump fake, go around, get a wide open shot, and he missed it again. I missed, I was kind of frustrated this game because I was missing so many open shots. I don't know if it was the Mavericks or what. I even missed a few layups when I did get good back doors, but that's probably more to do with the Mavericks than anything. And guys, you don't have to wait for the, you know, the player to uh, initiate. If you have Dirk one-on-one, -on -one, just feed him the ball. I mean, that's the whole point of the, the offense, in my opinion. So we got another nice shot there. Um, this game is quickly coming to an end. I held this guy to very few points because I was slowing the game down, playing pretty good defense. Uh, I think that's something you can't do at Princeton. Right here, we finally get a backdoor, and he missed the layup. I mean, I was just totally frustrated at this point because I was really trying to utilize the backdoors and show you guys, you know, this offense can be used online. And in my opinion, it still can. It's just this is a very unorthodox <laughs> offense. Uh, I know the Lakers were trying to run it. A couple of years ago, beginning of the season, didn't really work out. This offense is really hard, and it's not that it's hard to memorize. By the way, not shot by Dirk. It's just it's hard to implement and get the right personnel to run it, in my opinion. So, game is about coming to an end. I think we do finally get a back door for you right here. No, right there. Look at that. Oh, finally got him. Finally got him sleeping. It's beautiful when you do finally get that back door, guys. It's nice. All right, and this is going to be the last play I'll show you of this game. We're up by eight points, but it really feels like more than that. All right, we have Dirk right there. Let's see, get it to him. Oh, another quick little back door. Uh, I could have went up for a layup, but I decided to kick it off for an open shot, and he missed it. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for uh, this freelance offensive tutorial. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Um, some key takeaways, uh, strengths and weaknesses. Let me kind of go over that real quick. Um, again, this offense, uh, like I said, I think a lot of people just expect to get back doors over and over and over. Although you do have a lot of guys going back door and cutting back door, you might get a few a game. Don't expect to get like 20 back doors a game. It's probably not going to happen. Um, secondly, still look for your shooters and make sure you have the right personnel to run this. You got to be really picky. I think Dallas is the best current team to run it with. There might be some classic teams. Um, you could also try to get creative and putting, you know, like Carmelo or something at that five spot, but you're really sacrificing defense. So that's why I think it's a really hard offense to run. You have to have the really um, specific personnel to run this. And I think this offense is good. I think it can be run online because there's so much movement uh, off the ball. It's it's a great offense. I think it can be utilized. Uh, you just have to practice with it. And more importantly, not only do you have to know, you know your actions and your uh, branches and your all the options you have within the offense. You have to know how to run it in a game. Um, you have to be able to know how to implement it in the game. And, of course, I always say this. Make sure you have a couple other few sets you can run. Not just run this. That way it'll keep your opponents uh, opponents honest. Like, for example, I was using Dallas. I could have ran some you know, pick and fades or some specific plays in the Mavericks playbook for, uh, for Dirk. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Uh, be a 2K16 offensive tutorials, tips, whatever it may be. This is Card Number 5 signing out. Peace.